Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a project share for you all and this project features all carousel paper by Maggie Holmes and crepe paper. Um, I agreed to do a 5 for 5 swap with Tay who is Cuddle Me Play Tay here on YouTube. So we had to make 5 handmade things and 5 uh, store bought things and then 1 3D project. So here is my 3D project. I made this carousel. Um, it is a silhouette file that I've put together. This is how everything looks. I used iridescent gold straws for this, uh, for the sticks. And then these horses are white and glitter cardstock. I added jewels all around the bottom as well as the feet. The inside just has carousel paper. This uh, top is some of the collections paper as well as some white glitter paper. And then this is actually some 110 pound pink cardstock that I just added stickles to, to make it look like glitter paper. Just have this pom pom here, some pom pom trim. And then I added this gold piece to the top, um, just some gold glitter paper and then added gems to adorn it and kind of make it look like lights. And then over this, Portion, I added some iridescent tape that I had in my stash. I thought it was a nice little add-on for that. So this is my first project. Okay, so my next project, I decided to do the um, popcorn cart that um, is made by the same designer as this carousel. And I love it so much. This has been on my list of things to do for a while. Um, the file does not come with these um, these offsets here. They come with these small pieces, but not this pink and yellow piece. I had to make those myself. I used some glitter slip cardstock from Michael's Pom Pom at the top for that. I have the little tray here, and then I added a bow that Tay actually sent me, so I thought it was cute to add on. And then these are the wheels with that same gold cardstock and then gems in the center. Um, there is acetate all around in each of the windows and then on the inside I added some of the flowers that everybody's been making and these were um, Inspired by creating for fun who's Lori So I made quite a few of them. So this is how mine turned out And I used my silhouette to cut everything out except this middle portion here. This is a punch a paper studio punch um, But otherwise I use my silhouette to do the work for me so I didn't have to worry about that. Okay, so the next thing that I made, this is a banner and I don't have it strung on the ribbon. I'm probably gonna leave that for Tay to do because I don't know how she would like, you know, how she would like it. But these are some banners and they were inspired by the chipboard that has the kite on it. Um, so I made some kites. I created them using my silhouette. And then between them, it's a loaded banner, are some acetate boxes that I picked up from Hobby Lobby when they were on clearance. Um, and I just added layers to each one. So this is like chipboard from the collection. This is a flower from Tony, who is Craft Purge. This is one of the flowers I purchased from Monica, who is scrapping for my boys. Then I just have some thickers. Just wanted to add a little dimension and I stitched all around. And on the inside of each of these are some of my um, flowers that I made using Dollar Tree Table Scatter. I'll link that video down below. But I have the glitter and the pink. This one is all pink. Again, stitching. Clear box. And um, another flower by Monica on there. And more my flowers and then we have this one and this is actually a flower from tay and this loaded tag is something that tony sent me but it has carousel paper so i'm using it here and then that's just a thicker in the back and more flowers in here so this is um what number three if i'm not mistaken uh, then we have this wallet here. This is some faux leather that I had in my collection, but it reminded me of one of the papers in the collection with the like bubbles. Um, I used the KS Craft wallet die, and then I just sewed it all together um, and added a snap. And inside of here, I just 
put some plain rosettes that are all of like foil paper just in case Tay didn't have it in her stash and I know she likes making things with layers so I thought those would be handy to have on hand and then I made a lot more than four actually uh, so I guess that what that's what three so then we have this small little bag and I don't remember who made this dye, but it's been in my stash for a while. It's a tiny little bag, but it's super cute. Um, so I just used more chipboard and some gems and then it opens up like this. And inside I just have a few little bows from the collection. And of course I wrap them with thread. These are the My Creative Time um, bows. I think this is the smallest size. And those just fit right in there and you don't have to worry about them getting smushed so that is the little baggie and then i have this little coin envelope die um i just added some washi and a chipboard piece here i added a snap to the back and inside i have some of these little flowers and it's, I think, six or eight of these, but they're iridescent flowers with gems. She can use them as they are. She can layer them as centers if she wants to make those layered flowers that were in the little popcorn cart. Okay, so I have those. Then I made um, this envelope, and this is a uh, card envelope. Uh, I picked up this die from Spellbinders. I'll link it down below. Um, but I did some layering, and this piece here, this entire little piece, is a back topper from something that Tony sent me. So it's perfect. I didn't layer the back on this one, but I just added the snap and then you open it up and I made this memory decks card because I have one for her from her, but I don't have one that I've gifted her. My information's on the back and I just used the front cover of the little six by eight. I only had six by eight paper, by the way. So um, I tried to use the entire paper pad before I cut into a new one. So um, this is my little memory decks. I layered a doily and sewed it down. A chipboard piece. This was gifted to me by Tina, who is Hands of a Miracle, for my first Sebi challenge. This is a um, little flower that I made using that same punch. And then I have these, I had some flower table scatter that I've had for years. And it's already scored, so I just made another one of those little flowers, but in pink some leaves and then this is a thicker and then I just have gems all around so that fits in there and it won't get squished which I love this little box I love it so that is that and then I think the last little bit of handmade goodies is this um, I made these little uh, sunglasses not sure if you can tell but I've added Stickles to the front to give them glitter and shine. They are shaker glasses. Um, I just cut this, I think it's an Ariel bag topper and added a bow for my stash. And then I have it in gold here. So those are all my handmade things. And then for my goodies, I made one of these bags. And this is also a um, Spellbinders die. It's so cute. It's like a card bag. Um... I think it's so cute so I did some layering and I added a pair of those glasses and I just stuck them on the front like this so she can sign them up and use them but they are shaker as well I also have one of these um, this entire thing is a embellishment from Tony I decided to use all of my stuff that I've been holding on to and I just stitched around the front panel on both sides but inside I just have some goodies so I have these Heidi swap bows this how do you swap a little sticker book some of this um sequin trim and these colors i figured she loved them and then i picked up these stickers from hobby lobby because of course they're carousel themed so there's that and then we have i think the last little handmade for now um, it's this gable box. This is a Spellbinders die. I'll link it down below. Um, I used some Crafters Companion gold, glit uh, gold glitter. Some blue, it's like icicle glitter paper. Has a silver sparkle to it. Um, and then I just did a layer of the 
collections paper, added the other little um, Ferris wheel that Tina gave me, and then this clip is from Tony. It was on the top of the packaging for something. And then inside, I just have a pack of beads for Tay. Um, I know she likes to make different things, and I found these recently um, and thought I'd share them with her. I wasn't sure she was able to pick them up or not, so I thought I those would be perfect for her to use. And they're vi bright and vibrant for the collection. So, yeah, here is my little project share. Tons and tons of things going on over here. Um, got popcorn cart. These little baggies. All of the banners a ton of goodies and then my carousel so yeah that is what I created using only one six by eight pad and I still have a few more sheets that I can cut into but I think I did pretty good oh and the sequence mix fell off to the side I'm including that for her to that matches the paper but yeah that's it that's all that I have thank you so much for watching and have a good day